Filipino Femme Mukasait from Indigo Aquaculture, Private Limited. And currently now, I am their consultant for Ciclo Kumbo. I joined the training because I want to have a deeper knowledge and deeper understanding through uh, hatchery, grow out, and sea ranching as well. Uh, so far, I, I learned that this study for sea cucumber, it can be adapted by the community. We can help the fisheries production. The training program is very informative and of course I want to implement already what I have learned in the in CIFDEC and teach my technicians and the other generation to pass the technology. Yeah. First of all, my name is Kenneth Kumun. Uh, I am from Papua New Guinea, particularly in the autonomous region of Bougainville. And I work for the autonomous Bougainville government. I am a coordinator for the Arts District Administration. I joined the course because I, I see that it is very interesting. It is very important for us, uh, especially in the coastal communities of the autonomous region of uh, Bougainville, that uh, this course will help us to accelerate some uh, form of income revenue activities within our coastal communities. Uh, I think uh, from these two weeks, like starting from the uh, the aquaculture of the, the, the Chewy Niles, uh, from the, the feeding up until to the rearing and up to the growth where uh, Chewy Niles uh, Juvenile sand fish are put in the, the, the sea fans. The training will help us to establish a sea cucumber hatchery, which will help us to, to uh, uh, breed uh, more juveniles to make the sea cucumber industry more sustainable. Uh, the training program to me was timely uh, because uh, we are in the, the stage where so we need to embrace aquaculture programs, which is in our country is not uh, so much emphasis uh, done. So I think uh, the training to sit uh, back for the very good opportunity for me to come to. After the training, I think uh, the first of all, what we will do is we will establish a hatchery and we will start uh, doing uh, conducting uh, trial programs in terms of uh, developing the, the hatchery techniques to make the Sivutamba hatchery feasible so that uh, we can uh, mass produce uh, juveniles and we can di uh, distribute them to our local communities.